What's going on guys? No from Kicking Their Bass TV. Here's another video. And um, today's Tackle Tuesday, I'm doing it a little bit different. I'm doing it over the mystery tackle box, just trying to switch things up. I pretty much covered almost all the topics. I've covered top water, I've covered crankbaits, I've covered reels, um, swim baits, pretty much everything guys. And if you guys want to go check out those Tackle Tuesdays and see the tips and see the tackle that I had, I'll link the playlist below and you can go watch all of them. Um, but for this week's Tackle Tuesday, it's over the mystery tackle box for the month of August. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So when you first open the box, the first bait that pops is the Boy Ducket Series spinner bait. Um, this is a half ounce spinner bait. Honestly, um, I would have got a heavier one if it was just me personally buying it. But this one is white and it has a little bit of blue on it, which is pretty neat. I'm just a cool um, shad bait. Just the regular willow leaf blades, not the Colorado, it's just a standard willow leaf. First bait. Second bait is a Z-Man Pop Shad. And guys, I don't know if you guys have used these, um, but I can tell you I have. I've caught some fish on it. I've fished them all linear for those aggressive spots and other spots are. Um, and for you guys that are unfamiliar with this bait, what this bait is is pretty much a soft plastics top water bait. So yeah, it's going to be definitely different than anything on the market. Um, as you can tell, and one thing I like about Z-Man's plastics, this right here. I mean, I can literally stretch this thing. I mean, it's ridiculous. It won't break. I mean, I'm sure I can break it if I tried, but for the most part, I mean, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. All Z-Man's products, it's called 10 times tough. They make them um, pretty, I mean, pretty tough. Just a, just a, just a little bit tough. Um, honestly, I have a lot of these. Let's, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's pretty tough. I, I can barely break it. I mean, if I really, really tried, I'm sure I could. But the Z-Man Pop Shad, like I was going into, um, definitely try it out if you haven't. It is a top water bait, um, and it's soft plastic. I feel like the fish will hold on to it more, you know. Um, your hookup ratio might not be, like, dead on, just like if you had three treble hooks on, like, a spook or something, you know what I mean? But, um, great bait. Definitely try it out if you haven't already. Um, here's some little, I guess you could say, I don't know what I would call these. Um, if I would do anything with these, it would be drop shot. But it is called the Super Jerky 4.25. And this is just one of the sample packs. And as you can tell, it's got the splits in it, kind of like a Seville swim bait. Um, so it's going to move around, it's going to have a lot of action. Honestly, you could put this on a fish head spin. You could put this heck straight up on just a little jig head and um, roll it on the bottom. But personally, to me, you guys know I like the drop shot. And on this bait, for how small it is, just a couple inches. Um, I could definitely just lip hook that and drop it down in a brush pile and I mean it just looks like a little shad, look at that guys, I mean you can't beat that, just drop that down in the brush pile and I guarantee you the fish will just murder it. It's a pretty neat bait, you can pretty much do a lot of things with it and those are all different little designs and colors just because that's a sample pack. Going on to the next bait, we got a lizard, and what color is this? This is in um, green pumpkin flash. It's pretty much just green pumpkin colors, and it's got some goldish flakes in there. Um, pretty, pretty sweet looking. It's pretty much like green pumpkin red, except instead of the red flakes, it's got the gold. Um, just a standard old lizard, though. Kind of reminds me of the re regular zoom lizard. Um, definitely try this in ponds, guys. Another pond tip, I know you guys love the pond tips, love the pond fishing videos in general, just everything about pond fishing. Um, throw a lizard, you know, try it. And the way I like it rigged, I like a Carolina rig. You know, you, you can't go wrong with a Carolina rig. You have it a little bit off the bottom, especially in those ponds. There's a lot of moss, there's a lot of grass, there's a lot of crap that you're going to get stuck in if you have like a shaky head or anything like that. So try a Carolina rig with a lizard on it, I guarantee you it catch some bass. Going on to the next bait. This is a Akari, and this is just a pretty much a little um, rattle trap for the most part. Um, this is a red, which I love red rattle traps. If I throw rattle traps, it's pretty much going to be 
in dirty water. That's just personal preference. You're going to get off the vibration just like a chatterbait and whatnot. And if I want to be in dirty water, why not have a bright color like red? You know what I mean? Everybody knows I recommend just like the regular um, KVD one, just the regular Strike King, Rattle Trap, and red, um, the red eye shad. Um, this is pretty similar, not going to lie. So um, any red rattle traps, that's a little rattle trap tip. Um, if you want any rattle traps, I would definitely go with red because more than likely you're going to be throwing it in shallow water and more than likely you're going to be throwing it in dirty water if you're throwing it in shallow. That's my personal opinion. I mean, there are some clear lakes, but for the most part, it's going to be dirty water. And then you got you a who rag, but who cares about that because you can get you a cool kick in their back. Uh, I'm just playing, guys. But this is the same package that the Kick in the Bass TV Who Rag comes in. Um, but pretty neat that they did that. They threw that in. Who knows how many of these things they actually shipped out. So going over with a little overview on what all was in the box. So starting off with the spinner bait. Um, that was the Boy Duckett series spinner bait. So pretty neat there. That was a half ounce. Then you get that got that Akari Shad, which was pretty much the lipless crankbait or the rattle trap, whatever you would like to call it. Then you got the Super Jerky, which is pretty much that little uh, minnow bait that I said you could rig on a fish head, you could rig on a um, jig head, you could put it on a drop shot, which is really what I would prefer. And I'm, the pricing on those is three dollars and fifty cents per three pack, so a little, a little on the high side, but um, that's okay. Heck, we got them in the box this month. Um, the Z-Man Pop Shads, you can get a three pack for six or five ninety nine for six dollars. Um, pretty decent deal, knowing how freaking you guys saw how tough that was. I could barely break it apart. Um, pretty tough, big, pretty neat. Um, and then you guys have the six inch lizard by Bonehead Tackle, and that is a dollar and seventy seven cents per four pack. Pretty good value. So that's pretty much everything in this month's box, and they do not have the Who Rag on, but also the Mystery Tackle Box Who Rag that they have in there. And then they have a little booklet over um, just pretty much the Dibble and book, and pretty much shows you some quick tips and whatnot. And you got your stickers, and you got your um, first box for five dollars. The deal in there. So um, that's pretty much everything in this month's Mystery Tackle Box for the month of August. If you guys have any video suggestions, if you have, say you want to see some drop shot videos or you want tips on this, it's much easier for me to make the tip videos because it's really, I, I'm really busy as you guys know, so for me to get out on the lake and really just knock down a solid 100% drop shot video in the next week, that's kind of hard to do, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys have any just suggestions over tip videos that you would like me just to sit down and talk to you guys about, feel free to leave a comment below. If you guys are enjoying the vlogs, Give this video a thumbs up. Um, I know you guys love them. Pretty much every time I upload a vlog, it has like 5,000 views in the, in, the, in the first day. I mean, that's pretty amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for that. Um, really shows the channel some love and some, some support. And so if you guys haven't checked out any of the vlogs, I really highly recommend going to check some out. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Mystery Tackle Box for the month of August. And if you guys haven't checked out any of the Kickin' the Rest TV gear, hats, who rags, definitely go check it out. The link's below. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.